Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about Freshities from Minyard. So this is a kit number 38023 and it copies German truck L1500S with a cargo trailer and it might be familiar to you because this truck was released as a separate kit before but now we have this nice combo which might be interesting for some diorama project as you can see on the box art we have beer truck which is quite unusual i would say marking option and this is a commercial sample it is molded in 135 scale so you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review nothing will change that's the final form of this kit and we are going to open it together so first of all box size is typical for this manufacturer here you can see comparison with my hand we have really beautiful box art in my opinion and on this side we have some information about this kit also address of the manufacturer and some safety advices here if i flip it over to the opposite side here we have one of the marking options i hope that there will be more but nobody stops you from finding or searching for some alternative markings if you won't have more than two here so this is a top opening box oh so we have two decals options it's written here spoiler Nevertheless, uh, as you can see, all frames are packed into the same plastic bag. Then on the bottom of the box we have assembly manual. And as usual we will check assembly manual a bit later. We are going to start with plastic parts first. They are packed into sealed plastic bag, so I'm going to cut through it in order to open it. And in the meantime I would like to remind you that you can support us with a donation. There is a special support DSP button on our website and I also placed the link in the video description below so you can go directly to the PayPal gate and choose the amount you would like to send us. All this money which we will receive, they will be used for new photo and video equipment and also for some fresh releases in the models which otherwise we are not able to get. So you already helped us to get some interesting kits which we reviewed in the videos recently. So I am really grateful for this and if you would like to uh, support us even more, feel free to send such donation via PayPal. Okay, I am opening this plastic bag. So really interesting thing here is that we have a box with a front cap, but I would like to start with this tiny envelope here. So let's zoom in a bit. And as usual it is used for PE fret. Well actually here we have two of them. So just give me a second to open them. Here they are, they are unpainted PE frets, let's zoom in even more so that you can see what we get here. So you can see that we have radiator grill here, we also even have the Mercedes star which will be placed on this radiator grill. And these are parts for the trailer as far as I can guess, so all in all we get a, a really good addition in form of these metal parts and they are supplied as a standard bonus so you don't have to pay anything extra in order to get some additional PE parts in your truck kit. Next we continue with another plastic bag with clear parts and also decals sheet so just give me a second to open it as well. It's a sealed plastic bag again. I really hope that someday we will see Miniard kits with Ziploc bags but not tomorrow. Okay, so here you can see this clear frame and it carries all necessary parts for the front cap. It also has these lenses for headlamps. Molding quality seems to be fine, but there are no masking sheet or masking templates included, so you have to do everything with your own hands. Be ready for that because it might be tricky for such parts. And next we continue with decal sheet, so here it is. This one is printed in decograph, so we shouldn't be worried about any possible printing issues. As you can see, we have uh, necessary decals for these breweries, which is quite interesting. And once again, I will remind you that we have two marking options here only. So if you would like to copy something different, you have to search your own, uh, do your own research and find some reference photos for your idea. Next we continue with this small box with mini art logo. So this one is usually used for a front cap. I guess that's exactly what we will find inside. I'm opening it right now. 
So this box was used actually to protect the part because as you can see it is molded as a single piece part Separate doors, of course bonnet will be assembled separately as well and inside we also have nice lines on the roof that's pretty much all but such power design should actually help you get the right alignment out of the box and that's really cool that Minyard decided to include small box uh, to protect this part to avoid any accidental breakages so you shouldn't be worried about any problems with such tender part here i would like to zoom out a bit so that you can see the whole sprue so here we have mix of various parts and i suggest we start with the left upper corner as usual so let's zoom in here we have a radiator grill and note that you can choose this one if you are not that eager to work with p parts but in my opinion it would be a bit strange to get p parts and not to use them but who knows maybe you would like to save your time a bit next we continue with engine so kit feature is really nice engine and you might also add some wiring on it if you would like to have more features we have separate bonnet panels so you can open the engine bay and display the motor inside here we continue with wheel axles and also some parts for the main frame or for the chassis and here we have some suspension parts so everything looks clean enough i don't see any possible molding damage it's just a matter of careful assembly and you have a really nice result now i'm trying to okay now i understand what should be done so i guess this part was broken off Nice. So due to the packaging of the barrels together with the front cap, we get one not that cool surprise. So here we have two sprues of identical type. They were supplied exactly just like what you see here. But if I bring this leg rest here or this step, as you can see, it is broken off. And I really hope that this is actually the right alignment or right cut on the attachment point because otherwise you have to spend your time trying to fix it. And that's not such a cool procedure to do, especially with such tender part. But if I flip it over and zoom in, you can see that these fenders, they are molded as a single piece parts. We also have plastic wheels. There are no vinyl parts whatsoever. And that's really cool because you won't have to spend your time uh, with painting, trying to paint vinyl parts, which is not that pleasant procedure. Next, we continue with four identical plastic frames. So here we have wheels. Again, main wheels, if we can call them so. I guess these ones will be used for the trailer. But we will see in assembly manual, but you can notice that there are plastic wheels which should be assembled out of several parts. This is actually a set of parts for one wheel and if I bring it closer here, you will be able to check the external features. So we have some writings on the tire walls, which is also cool. And if I flip it over, we have guiding elements inside, so you will get the right alignment and you won't have to think through how to properly position these parts together. Okay. Next, we continue with this small sprue which is dedicated to various drivetrain elements. And everything looks good. Here I have nothing to complain about. Maybe you should be careful with these thin parts, but it's something what you hear in every Minyard review I do. Next, we continue with suspension parts. So here we have brake drums and leaf springs. Maybe I'll show it even closer so that you can understand what we have pre-molded here. Parts look really nice, but be careful with such tiny pieces. It's maybe better to use tweezers in order to get the, um, let's say, careful installation. Okay, so now we have quite interesting parts division here. So we have two types of barrels. I will show you one with small barrels. Here it is. That's the first type of the sprue. If I zoom out a bit, you can see it better. So here we have even these special holders, if we can call them so, which uh, will hold these barrels in place and each barrel should be assembled out of four parts so we have top and bottom and also front and rear and if i flip it over inside we 
do not have any guiding elements because actually these front and rear inserts they will be serving as a guiding elements in these barrels but as I said we also have another type so this one comes with bigger barrels and here we have pretty much the same design just the size is different so you will be able to choose what to place inside your trailer which is also quite cool thing because you are the one who will be deciding what to place where next we have more parts for the truck so here is a pair of identical plastic sprues i will show you on the one once again so here we have road wheels maybe we should zoom in a bit yes now you should be able to see that here we have road wheels which should be glued out of two parts we have again some pre-molded features on the tire walls and next we continue with various minor elements for the front cap we also have some suspension parts and these special buckets let's say for headlamps which will be combined with the clear lenses which we saw before okay next we have bigger plastic frame so first of all we have this one i guess this one will be used for the trailer i will show it uh, without zooming out because it's quite wide so it's better to start in a zoomed in version so here you can see all the necessary parts note that wooden panels they have the necessary texture and that's really cool these are not plain parts and it will look better on the model you won't have to spend your time trying to replicate this on your kit and here you can check them from the opposite side so obviously they are detailed from both sides because it will be visible on the finished model and molding quality seems to be fine i do not see any possible issue here so just to give you an idea of the size of this uh, panel or the sprue here you can see it with a zoomed out view next we continue with two identical frames they are also quite wide so i will show you on one i guess these ones will be also used for the trailer so here you can see that we have separate wooden panels for the main bed maybe i should zoom in so that you can see it closer again we have wooden texture on them so there is nothing to worry about in terms of replicating wood we have leaf springs for the suspension and everything looks cool i see that amount of attachment points is reduced to the possible minimum which is also quite good and parts these wooden panels again they're detailed from both sides so it's not just like one visible side received wooden texture and one opposite side is just plain one next we continue with the final or the last gray plastic sprue this one obviously is dedicated to truck parts because we have some doors for the front cap we also have seat steering wheel now fenders again we have the firewall and there was a dashboard somewhere here so let's zoom in and again molding quality seems to be impressive i like what is pre-molded on these parts so it's just a matter of careful painting and you'll be good to go with a nice track again separate doors might be handy for diorama builders because they might use it with some figures here we have separate wooden panels for the rear bed and large bars for the main chassis so all this stuff will have to be combined together and you'll get a nice german truck in 135 scale with beer barrels of course okay but that's not all we have also assembly manual which is printed in color so here it is let's close the camera a bit so this assembly manual is supplied in form of large brochure we have short list of the features but it's not that interesting as what we have on the next page here we have marking guide so that's the first marking option maybe i should close the cap no it's fine you i hope you're not blinded by this white cover but here we have parts map and as usual mini art does not show unused parts so pay attention and get the right parts for your build of course assembly process starts with truck so we start with engine and then we continue with the main chassis where you have to combine these separate bars all together then we install some suspension elements and then you continue with radiator grill front bumper and the engine next we install wheel axles for the front and rear you assemble wheels as well as the spare wheel and then only then on step number 20 we start assembling the front cap as you can see everything starts with the firewall 
and then gradually we move on to pedals, control elements, seat and then we have this one piece part getting combined together with clear parts here we decide whether we would like to use this pre-molded front grille or we are going to use P parts on it and next what is next so we have also several options for the front fenders then we install all this stuff on the chassis and then we continue with the rear bed so it should be assembled out of separate panels as you remember we also have an option to open the bonnet on your model and what is next here is some mud guards which will be placed on the truck bed and on step so it's separate assembly manual as you can see it's written here cargo trailer so then we start assembling cargo trailer which is quite straightforward it's simple design where you have to combine these panels together with suspension uh, parts such as leaf springs and also wheel axles and wheels themselves and next you assemble these wooden panels together you can assemble them in open position which is really cool and here you assemble wooden barrels for the beer then you place this all this stuff into the trailer and truck you have paint chart here and what is next here so we have the same marking option as a box art shows so that's the second marking option out of two in this kit all in all we get a really interesting combo in popular scale i think some others will be interested in assembling it of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye